Hi, I am Tanya Amen. I work for the National Center for Beef Excellence, and we are here at Virginia Tech today for the listening and learning session, uh, where I talked about the benefits of crossbreeding with special emphasis on maternal hybrid vigor. A quick review of the uh, discussion uh, revolved around the benefits of crossbreeding. Of course, one of the uh, main benefits is uh, breed complementarity, and that's taking advantage of the strengths of two or more breeds and combining those uh, into a marketable and profitable efficient product for um, the various environments that we find around the country. Uh, also, the other benefit, of course, of crossbreeding is hybrid vigor, and there's a lot of emphasis placed on the benefit of having a crossbred calf, which we refer to as direct hybrid vigor, and of course that translate, it translates into increased weaning and yearling weights, calf survivability, uh, things of that nature. But one of the components that has uh, been lower on the priority list in terms of discussion but probably warrants more than it gets is maternal hybrid vigor. And that is the benefit to calves for, from having a crossbred dam. And again, those increases in calf survivability uh, to weaning, in um, longevity in the cows themselves, and plus it's an additive benefit from uh, the growth side, both weaning and yearling. So the Charlet breed fits very nicely, uh, obviously, into the direct hybrid vigor situation. In much of the nation's cow herd, we have a very British base, uh, some, in some cases a very Angus base, and others it may be a crossbred base. But uh, injecting the Charlet breed into those situations uh, benefits greatly from a breed complementarity standpoint. Uh, the Charlet breed brings in growth and um, efficiency and muscle shape that British breeds tend to lack. Um, in addition, uh, we can avoid things like some genetic conditions and foot structure and disposition problems uh, that may be an issue. And then you get the added benefit of the hybrid vigor uh, that comes uh, from having a crossbred calf. And I think there is a case uh, in, in some instances if uh, commercial producers are s selling those smoky colored steers to possibly consider uh, keeping the F1 females. Uh, in many of the Charlet families we can find uh, mature cow sizes just as moderate as what you'll find in uh, some of the British breeds. They've continued to hold birth weight constant from a genetic progress standpoint. Um, foot structure is good. And so you have all of those benefits plus getting the maternal hybrid vigor that's so valuable to commercial cattlemen. And I think all of these together uh, add up to more opportunities for commercial cattlemen to consider uh, using Charlotte genetics.